everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to A Vintage Vanity. I am super excited for today's video because, well, you guys are here. As well as we are back with another $100 challenge video. The video series where I take 100 bucks and I go spend it somewhere and see how much we can actually get for it and was it worth our money. Now... Now, I will place a link on the screen, one of these sides, to uh, the playlist for that. Traditionally, for those videos, I've gone to clothing stores and seen how much clothing I can get for that, like complete rockabilly, vintage outfits. And I said in that last video that I was going to feature one of my favorite stores in the next video. And I am both truthful and lying at the same time because it is my favorite store but it is not just one store it's actually stores and it's not going to be really clothing focused um there are some clothes and accessories but it is also going to be like sewing focused as well uh just because um yeah we went estate sailing and gone to antique malls and I it's one of my favorite things to do um, let me know in the comment section below if you do that as well and if you do what you kind of look for because everybody has their thing that they look for today's haul is actually three separate shopping trips over the past couple months and uh, two estate sales and one antique mall I will say estate sales hmm, tend to be a little bit cheaper than antique malls but um, let's get started with the very first estate sale that I went to. And what caught my eye about this one is the woman was a sewer. So there was a lot of fabric. I went on the last day because that's when you have the, the best chance of getting the best deals. And I decided to get a buttload of fabric. Now, here's the thing. Had I known, like, had I known... Had I known the deal they were going to cut me, I would have given myself more time. And I bought much more fabric. So um, this is what I got. I got this uh, Captain Kirk mustard yellow floral um, cotton. I have no idea how much yardage is in it. Um, about that much. Not quite sure. I'm kind of thinking maybe a top of some sort. That would be a cute. Because, you know, uh, I, you know what? Clearly, clearly I was influenced by JL's um, outfit she got for me, link there to see that video, uh, because she bought me a floral, and uh, because I am now realizing there is a theme in the fabric that I bought, let me know if you can guess what it is. Next up is this amazing, amazing green floral cotton it just reminded me a little bit of the Shaheen fabrics and I think I did I did an outfit out of I'm gonna place a picture on the screen of uh, that is a reproduction Shaheen uh, fabric that I did with that and this just kind of reminded me of that right gorgeous gorgeous and again there's not a lot on here so again don't know what I'm gonna make out of it but every girl or guy who sews needs a little fabric stash for those days when you have a pattern and you just don't want to go to the fabric store, right? Um, I also, oh, here, I'm just going to show you the rest of the florals before I get to the other thematic fabric. I don't know how I feel. Let me know how you feel about this. I've got, it seems like I've got a lot of this. I want to say maybe, maybe four, no, not four yards, maybe like three yards of this. It is because I don't have a lot of purple in my ensemble, and I love purple. And it is this uh, cotton floral. It's a very light lavender with, it looks like, maybe lilacs on it, which I love lilacs. And it's got the striping um, on the fabric itself. So I thought it was really fun and summery. I'd like to make a, like a little, some type of little summery dress to go on there. But I don't think there's enough there to do like a full circle skirt dress design. So, yeah. So those are all the florals I got. And then, apparently, I was thinking summer and winter because <laughs> I 
picked up this plaid and it's like a, it's a very light wool plaid um it's blue and red with a little bit of yellow to it absolutely love it and i thought this would just make like a really good like fall coat because uh, i have more jackets and coats that i want to make this uh this coming fall so i thought that would be a great fabric for it i've got a ton of it here oh are you thinking what i'm thinking lots of fabric wool plaid yeah 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 I'm thinking a cape wouldn't that be kind of cool cape I don't know. Let me know. If you guys can think of what I have to make with one of these fabrics, let me know. I want such a cape. In that same vein, um, I love this so much. And I think it's because my dad had um, a spring coat that was kind of in these colors. And um, it was it was an old coat. And I want to say it was like from the 50s or late uh, mid 60s. And I absolutely loved it, and I want to kind of make a jacket out of this. I mean, how cute is that, right? And it's a really simple plaid, which means it'll be easy for pattern matching. So if you guys are looking at getting into plaids but afraid of pattern matching, just look for a uniform plaid that you can pet. Good plaid. Um, uniform plaids are really easy to match up, and bigger plaids are as well. Um... <laughs> Um, this, <laughs> this, I actually am thinking of some cute little like Doris Day type outfit out of, I think I want to make like a, a pants top ensemble with it. I'm not sure, but it just, I don't know. <laughs> right? I, I literally got half plaid, half floral. Well, here's a non floral or plaid and there's a ton of this. These, oh, uh, these other two were cottons as well. This is the cotton, but it's a very, like, um, very lightweight cotton. I don't know why I bought it, to be honest with you. It's just this rose colored. Um, but what I liked about it was that you can see there's some uh, color changes in the threading. So it gives it, like, this really cool textural look. I have no flipping idea in the world what I'm going to do with this. I was originally thinking pants, but I think it's too lightweight for pants. So now I'm just going to sit and stretch at it. Stretchy stretch. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Let me know. And it's, and it's stiff, too. It's a really, really stiff fabric. So I think I'm going to run it through the washing machine a bunch and see how it reacts to that. And then, and then maybe, because if it softens up a lot, maybe I could see maybe a dress with some embellishments on it. I don't know. If you have ideas, this is Jen has run out of ideas corners. You just leave them all in the comment section below. And then you guys are going to laugh at me. All right. If I can find the picture, I will put it up on the screen. I am addicted to these really cute, like, jacket pants combination hostess set thingamajiggers and I saw this one and I absolutely fell in love with it and I found this fabric peeking out and I was like oh my god this fabric I am just seeing the pants written all over it it looks amazing and I pull it out <laughs> pull it out curtains and I was like I think it's like a I think it's like a satin, um, a satin slub or something, or a du 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 peony. I think I still need to. I am still very at the beginning of my fabric identification journey. I've got two, two, two panels. Yeah, two panels of it. So definitely enough to make pants and do something else with it. Who says you can't make pants out of a curtain? Hey, if it's good enough for Scarlett O'Hara. I can do it too, right? Don't let anybody don't let anybody tell you what the rules are to fashion or sewing. You do whatever you want, and if it doesn't work, great. If it does, even better, right? From that same sale, I know, right? You guys, it's insane how much I got for a um, hundred dollars. Okay, so the next thing I got was this. 
very large scalloped trim. Um, no, I, again, no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I will tell you this, um, trims with like finished tr scallop trims are really flipping expensive a lot of times. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to scoop it up and I know, I know, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. If anybody remembers, I did, um, a, for my atomic starlet wine, I did this, uh, Persephone Celine skirt which was a skeleton cowboys and a western theme and then the trim the bottom of it I had eyelet oh my god I can't breathe <laughs> so excited um this is going to be part of a flounce on a peasant top that's what we're going to do with that and then again going back to the scallop trim there was just a bunch more and it was two different types of it so I snapped it up because again I think I paid like a dollar for both of these. Um, can't do better than that. And then I'm not going to go through all of this, but apparently that day I was in need of a snap or something. And this is my friends, a whole bag of snaps. Every kind of, Oh, there's a buckle snap. There's little snaps. Big snaps. Oh, did I just hit myself in the face? Um, essentially, again, these kind of notions can add up when you're going to Joann's, even with coupons, and when you can go to an estate sale and get a whole big thing of them. I will never need snaps. I will end up being the person that someday some other person will be shopping my estate sale and being like, oh my god, she has so many snaps. And apparently hooks, eyes, and loops as well. <laughs> now don't kill me for my notions. That would just be rude. And I love it when I can find vintage patterns at these places. And I will just say I absolutely am in love with these. Um, most of them that I'm going to find are not going to be in my size. And that's okay. Um, it's taking smaller patterns and transferring them and sizing them up in pattern grading is a great way to learn pattern grading and it's also a great way to learn how to uh, construct patterns. So I'm like, that's okay. So a lot of these may be even 10 inches, which in the, in the sewing world is like the equivalent of the Grand Canyon. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it if you're starting pattern grading just because this, this oh, I could go off on a tangent on that. But I'm so excited about this. And these patterns range from the mid to late 50s to the early 70s. Some of my favorites is um, the blouses on here. They're just adorbs and I can't stand them. And to up my uh, PJ game for next year at Viva, there's actually a pajama pattern and a robe pattern. They are both from the 60s and they are, again, adorbs, right? And then we've got um, a couple of more uh, late 60s uh, going into the swinging 70s over here. I just really like halter uh, tops and I thought especially this the kind of wrap halter would be read really cute for 50s, 60s. And then who doesn't want to go to work looking all cute in a dress? from the 60s there and um, again I'm obsessed with tops because uh, I want to make a lot of tops this summer and these are just everything to me right now so super excited about that switch it up and go to the antique mall which is actually where I spent a little bit more of uh, my budget just because antique stores are going to be a little bit more expensive and I think I already said that so um, when I went there I was looking for stuff to decorate my room and my bathroom and things like that because I'm redecorating all of that and having so much fun doing it. So some of the things that I found might seem a little strange to some people, but um, for those that don't think it's strange, I think are going to love it. And uh, one of them is this little band-aids container. How cute is that? It's just so cute. It needs to be cleaned up, but it's adorable. And then I found both of these. They're bobby pins. Uh, one's the bigger ones and one's the regular bobby pins. And yeah, that's right. They're actually in there. I'm so excited. And this bobby pin uh, container is hands down my favorite out of all the little knick-knacky things I got. And then I found this box of pin curl clips. 
they are a little rusty inside there so I won't be putting them in my hair but I will definitely be uh, decorating with them which is actually a little bit of a steal from my friend Jesse. Um, and then I found this little hairnet. I love packaging from the 50s and early 60s. And I just love this so much. The color would be great in um, my room. So I am loving that. And then, oh my God, I know I keep saying I love everything that I do, but this is one of my favorite things. Okay, I love buttons. And then looking through the button bag, I spent like nine bucks on six buttons. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, but they are movie buttons and this is featuring Gail Storm and uh, they've got the little buttons there. So how amazing is that? I need a special project for that. And then I picked up these really fun like plastic buttons. Love them. And accessory wise, well, this is the only accessory I bought because it's my favorite. And you've seen the little handle over here. <laughs> it's so cute, right? It is a natural uh, straw. Um, bag with the tortoise tortoiseshell uh, weaved through it and also the handle. I mean, how great is that? The interior is super cute as well. It is slightly falling apart, so I'll have to give it a little TLC as far as that goes. I don't know. Um, the fabric is ripping, um, but I think I might try to just remove it and patch it because I really like the vintage fabric in there and I also might gently wash it as well so very excited about that i got two tops and there was actually three there but i couldn't get the zipper down on the other one so i couldn't know for sure that it would actually fit me um but i got this i'm pretty sure i think they're both 60s but it's a little mock turtleneck <laughs> i know doesn't seem that exciting until you put like a jaunty little scarf with it right oh my god so cute pair it with a jaunty little pair of capris adorbs right i'm so excited about this and this i'm pretty sure is a polyester so we're gonna sweat in that and then mm, i'm so excited about this so excited about this but how cute is that right just call me sandra freaking d because I am just going to be all pinky and florally this summer. Can't wait. Cannot wait. All right. Now, this last, uh, that's all from the antique store. Whew. Talking so fast because we got a lot to. Um, the estate sale that I just went to, super excited about this. And this is mainly sewing. So I will not gush in detail, but I will a little. So let me just get the handful, handful. I got these all for like two bucks. This is all seam binding, hem tapes, rickrack, and bias tape. Woo! With the exception of the buttons that are right here. Love it, can't stand it. And then I bought this, I bought, um, <laughs> it's just a magnet for your pin. Woo! Nothing fancy about it at all, but I've needed one. Guess how much it was? That's right. A dollar. And I also got these uh, little bobbins on here. And there may be a reason why I specifically picked up the bobbins from this place. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a mystery to be solved. A Scooby-Doo. And then I bought, um, because I went on the last day of the sale. So everything was like 60% off. For four bucks, I got a heat gun which is really great if you cosplay at all or work in foam. It's really great to, you know, heat it up and curve it over the body. So, so excited about that. And up our run fair game this year. And then, again, these are way too big for me, but we got some patterns. Um, again, <laughs> comfort is a big deal for me. You know, if I could be in pajamas 90% of my life, I probably would. But fabulous pajamas. So um, this is just a little robe pattern, little dress pattern from the 60s, little apron and apron dress. Um, I just really like the long one because I kind of want to make it into a jumpsuit. And then this little just adorable dress. And then this little crop jacket. 
felt and little uh, scarvy things and jackets. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Maybe we could use these patterns with some of our plaids. So those are all the patterns that I got. I know, right, you guys? This is insane. It's insane. And then I've got to clean them. But I got these little clip-on earrings. They're so cute. You don't even want to know how much. Pennies, I tell you. Um, but they're in one of my favorite colors, which is that, like, minty green. Uh, so those are super cute. And last, but definitely not least, for $24, what did I get? Okay, you guys ready for this? All right, bam! Bam! It needs to be cleaned up, but I got a sewing machine. It works, which is great. I don't know that much about it. Oh, did I show you the back side? Oh, I showed you the butt. You didn't even see the good side, right? Yes, yes. I think it's probably 70s is my guess. Um, could be earlier than that. Needs to be cleaned up, but I'm pretty sure that this is an industrial, um, which is amazing. It just means that I can sew faster. I, I'm looking forward to cleaning this up and getting this fired up and seeing how it sews. It'd be a great backup machine and actually be a great like straight stitch machine. Because let's be honest, my uh, Viking is just too good with all the bells and whistles to <laughs> not use it. It is so, I, I'm just so excited about everything that I got. And I can't believe I got all this stuff for like a hundred bucks. It's insane, right? Now, before I let you go, I do want to do a subscriber spotlight to the pink frog. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but thank you so much for watching my videos and for being a part of our online community. And as always, I love hearing from you guys. So in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of today's video, what your favorite item was that I thrift, I guess, yeah, that I find thrift, thrift, thrift. I, what is it called when you go a, antiquing and estate sailing? It's not thrifting. Finding sounds weird. I don't know. Is there a term for it? Let me know what your favorite thing that I thrift founded um, <laughs> in this video. And as always, if you're going to miss me between uploads, be sure to follow me on all my social media as a vintage vanity. And if you're afraid of missing any uploads on this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. If you'd like to shop my clothing line, go ahead and click on that boomerang you see right there. And if you'd like to watch my last video, click on the video you see playing. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.